Hey there gear guys and gadget gals. <laughs> That's a lot of work to go through to not say uh, gearheads and uh, steel blockheads thunder. Uh, when I changed the name to this channel, I'm like, oh, I can say gearheads. And then like right away, like immediately in my mind, I'm like, nope, you can't, you can't do that. Uh, so unless a blockhead were to reach out to me and tell me that I could say gearheads without pissing him off, I would never in a million years I'm just going to try to figure out my own thing. I'm not too sure if uh, gear guys and gadget gals is going to stick, uh, but I figured I'd give it a shot for today. I ended up uh, running across actually Blockhead's video on the 2019 Indian Chieftain Dark Horse, which I actually think is a really cool uh, bike. Personally, I think it's uh, pretty awesome. But as I'm watching it, I'm like, man, something about that inner fairing looks like familiar. And I, I don't know, it just, it was like bothering me. So I'm thinking about it. And I'm like, you know what? It's Johnny Five from a, a Short Circuit. So if you're familiar with the mid eighties, which was a great time for movies. Uh, a lot of really good gems coming out of the 80s but Johnny Five was like this robot uh, basically artificial intelligence learned how to love and grasshopper disassemble reassemble I can't reassemble him you squashed him he's dead dead when you're dead you're dead disassemble dead no disassemble so I just I see that design of that interfering and I'm like good lord like it's so it, it's, it's got to be Johnny Five I create a quick little meme just uh, on my phone actually and I put it out on reddit and it started getting some hits until the uh, motorcycle reddit shut me down because you know apparently not allowed to post memes there anyways it was getting like a ton of, uh, of hits so I started looking even further and it blows my mind. I'm like, I find this clip. Don't worry, my cousin was a Harley Davidson. Uh, so I just, I thought it was pretty funny. So, I, I, my curiosity just would not stop. So I'm like, all right, well, who, who designed Johnny Five? Maybe there's like a connection between that. And I wasn't able to definitively come up with whether there was a connection or not. But. The gentleman named Sid Mead is actually the one who designed Johnny Five, and he's actually an industrial designer. And he started working for Ford uh, in his early career, and he's actually done some automotive design type stuff. And not only has he done like automotive design, but he's also done like uh, Star Trek design, set design type of stuff. He's just done a lot of things. One of the more interesting things that he has done is the Tron motorcycle. So. He has some motorcycle design experience, so I'm started like I, I started looking at the Chieftain as an overall design and if it fits Sid Mead's designs. And I'm not going to post any of his actual like work, but if you go to SidMead.com, if you look up his designs and, and stuff, I mean it's it's pretty pretty convincing to me at least that maybe they had subcontracted out design to a Sid Mead. So I started getting a little bit further uh, and I couldn't find who their designer was in that time period. And I'd be remiss if I don't throw in the, uh, you know, if you like my content, please click subscribe. Likes go a long way to help support the channel. You know, that whole drill. Uh, but if you look up online who Indians basically head of design was, I can't find it. Like it doesn't exist up until March of 2018, they hired this Ola Stengard. So he's like their new head of design, but he wasn't there when they would have designed the 2019 Chieftain. So I can't find who actually designed it. And I, I'm really starting to feel like maybe, maybe this 85 year old Sid Mead, maybe he had something to do with it. And maybe it's all just coincidence and maybe I'm just starting a, a, a motorcycle conspiracy theory here, which would be pretty cool. I've never started a conspiracy theory before, but uh, I would actually, I would like to hear from Indian who designed their chieftain just to kind of put that to bed to see was, was that 
just a simple maybe like a nod from another industrial designer or just a straight coincidence or was Sid Mead actually part of a design team as, as uh, like a, maybe a hush hush kind of thing I don't know but I tell you what I sure as hell see the similarity there on that interfering and I also want to say that I am in no way shape or form bashing the Indian Chieftain I actually really really like the Chieftain a lot I think the design is is really nice I, I think the interfering layout is in my opinion uh, one of the best in the market as far as layout goes I, I think their screen is great if they added Apple CarPlay to that I would say that it would be uh, the current street glide so um, that's that's my opinion I also personally think it's better than the gold wing as far as layout goes it's a lot more simple there's not a bazillion buttons to have to deal with it, it really is just a, a great great functional uh, design and I also like the two gauges uh, up up top I, I personally think it just all works uh, the other parts of the chieftain that I like is that, that just the sweeping body lines I think it all flows really nice uh, that fairing I think is, is really nice yeah sure they took that vent uh, straight from the street glide it's uh, pretty tough to say that it's not lifted from that but that that's part of industrial design in general uh, engineers kind of all share uh, inspiration from each other and when something is useful there's nothing wrong with somebody else uh, sharing that same design so one thing I noticed Blockhead said that he was feeling buffeting uh, on his helmet with that screen up and down and that he didn't see a button to push to open up for the airflow I bet you that there is one I I don't know because I haven't ridden one yet but uh, I would like to to know if that's the case so please put in the comments down below if you do know that there is a, uh, a button to push for airflow. I would be interested to know that. I, I'm also a huge fan of the new FTR. I, I've seen some other YouTubers kind of bash on the FTR a little bit, but in my opinion, I actually, I, I like it quite a bit as far as what it is. I, I think it's a, a pretty cool looking bike. Uh, the Scout, in my opinion, is another really, really good looking bike. Uh, I think just the design in general on those things is just it's really, really, really solid. And, and again, I like their touring bikes. Uh, I would imagine that 111 from the reviews that I've watched on it, uh, that motor is, is, is pretty powerful. People don't seem to have any complaints about it. So uh, in general, it's a pretty competitive bike to Harleys. I, I just happen to ride a Harley. Uh, but I just thought this whole thing was very interesting. I feel like there is certainly something there to everything that I'm saying as far as this Johnny 5 thing goes and, and again maybe it's just coincidence but um, I'm not in, intending to crap on Indian by no means uh, this is just clearly a, a video that I thought I would put out there for the motorcycle youtubers to kind of have at and and see what other people think about uh, what it is that that I'm kind of insinuating here at least and, and just see what the rest of the community has to say because um, I don't know, I find it very interesting. I also just happen to find industrial design uh, to be interesting in general. I, I think, um, you know, how people put things together, it's, it's interesting to me to see how, you know, the designers put everything on paper, the engineers then have to put it all together, actually make sure it all works, and then you have your guys on the line actually wrenching on these things, putting it together to make sure that it all fits. So it's really a beautiful ballet of, of engineering and collaboration to put these things together. And that's kind of with everything that's produced, but uh, I, I find it very fascinating. I just kind of wanted to put that out there, uh, food for thought, and, and see what the rest of the community thought. And everybody going out to FLMM uh, down in uh, Florida this weekend, have a great time. I wish I could be there. Unfortunately for me, the trip from Arizona just is not in the works especially a week before Thanksgiving. But to everybody else who's going down there, it's got to be a blast to meet all these great YouTubers uh, that, that I watch all the time. Um, John Maxwell, Blockhead, Miss Blockhead. Uh, Do It With Dan, I think, was going to be there. Um, Shade Tree Surgeon. A bunch of these guys that I watch are, are, are going to be there. So you guys have a blast with that. It's probably going to be a really awesome time. I wish there was a, a group of guys down here in the southwest uh, like that. The only other one that I know of at this point in time is uh, Dan Dan the Fireman, who is uh, a big YouTuber down here in Tucson, a couple hours away. Um, but I don't really know of a bunch of other uh, YouTube motorcycle guys uh, cruising around here in the southwest. So if you guys exist, uh, you know, 
do it up. Let's uh, do the same thing those guys are doing down there, uh, you know, in, in, in uh, Florida this weekend. And, uh, you know, let's band together and do the same thing down here. I think it's pretty cool to have uh, kind of like these, like, YouTube bike groups. Uh, the idea, I think, is kind of cool to have just a whole community of, like, YouTube bikers and stuff like that. So, um, you guys have a good time at FLMM. I'm going to go home and enjoy my weekend with my family. And I will see you guys next time.